Roberto Monaco with Influenceology. In this video, we'll be talking about commitment. I just come back from Brazil. I spent two weeks there visiting my family, my friends, my brother Claudio, just had a baby, baby Arthur. And in the end of my trip, I was invited to do a series of presentations there, a series of trainings for a company that I love a lot. It's a company called Differpa. We've been doing work for them for six years now. And the talk was about the psychology of success, how to elevate our performance, both in our personal lives and professional lives. And one of the things that I was covering in my training was commitment. So as I was interviewing people, developing ideas, and referring back to my previous presentations about commitment, I noticed these three little principles about commitment that I wanna share with you today. The first principle is this one. You must be committed to the outcomes, to the results that you wanna achieve. There's a big lie in the self-development industry, in the training industry, that people say, hey, 80% of the success is just showing up. The biggest lie ever. Some people show up every single day, guess what? They don't achieve the outcomes they wanna achieve in life. The fact is this, you must be clear, you must be committed, not interested, committed to the results that you wanna achieve in any area of your life. Throughout my interview process, I learned this story that I had to share with you. So this company is speaking, what they do, they buy tools from China, from all over Brazil, and they have a big distribution center, and every day the salespeople sell to the retailers all over the state, and they have 37 trucks that go out there and deliver the merchandising. So one morning what happens was they had such a big order that all the trucks were gone. So we have this, all this pile of merchandising, the clients are waiting, and the 37 trucks were gone because they're busy delivering the merchandising. So what do you do? Well, we could wait one day, maybe could wait two days to deliver this pile of merchandising. But guess what though? The people in the center of distribution, they're not committed only to show up and work. They're committed to what? To the results. And the results they wanna achieve is this. Every single day, they deliver the correct merchandising to the correct client, the best price possible, the best customer service possible. What they did, they had no trucks, they borrow a bus, actually there's a transportation bus, they pick up the employees back and forth every single day, they borrow the, the, that uh, transportation that's not for merchandising, that's just for, like, for passengers, regular passengers, put all the merchandisers there, got a driver and use that bus to deliver the merchandising to the retailers because that team was committed to what? The results. Here's some pictures I wanna share with you guys, share with you guys the pictures. That's number one. You must be committed to the results. What kind of results you, you're committed to achieve in your personal life, your professional life? What kind of results you're committed every single day? The second principle is this one. You must be committed to the present, to the future at the same time. Bro, that's not possible, say, yes, it's possible. You must be committed to the present, to the future. Let me explain to you. A lot of professionals that I see, in my opinion, they are committed to the present, and they're really committed, 100%, they show up 100%, and they're awesome. But then what happens is this, after a year, two years, five years, 10 years, the results just a little bit better. Why? Because they never spend time committing to their future how their careers, how their lives are going to look like two, three, four, five years in the future, right? They never improve. They never took time to go to training. They never took time to develop themselves. We have people that we talk to, say, Roberto, I wanna be speaking, I have a message to share, I wanna develop my speaking business, or at least grow my business in speaking, but when I'm too busy, and they spend three, four, five years wanting to speak, so they get some results, but they never leverage their expertise because they never devote the time to their future business, right? In this case, my example here, learning how to speak in public. Now, other people, on the other hand, is this. They just focus on the future. They say, Roberto, I don't like my job. I don't like my company. I don't like my situation. Therefore, I just do what I do because I gotta make some money, but I'm like 90% committed or 95% committed. They don't, they don't show up 100%. What happens is that because they're not committed to the present, and they, they tell themselves, but I, when I do have the career, when I do change companies, when I change my jobs, then, only then, I'm gonna be committed 
that never happens too. You know why? Because they never pay the price, never develop the muscle. You see, commitments and decisions are muscle. And some people always keep postponing the commitment to the future. Now, when I do have the perfect job or the perfect scenario, then I'm going to show up 100%. Guess what? They'll never get a job, the opportunity, never, because they have not developed the, the commitment that's necessary to be successful. Very important for you, and it's not easy, but it's important for you and for me to be committed to the outcomes right now you want to achieve, but also to the outcomes you want to achieve a year from today, five years from today, 10 years from today. So here's a question for you. What are you committing to your life a year from now, two years from now, 10 years from now? I know I'm sure you have a job right now and you have a path right now, you're committed right now, but how is your life going to look like a year from today or two years from today? How much of your time, weekly or monthly, are devoting to becoming better, to improve, so that you make that vision a reality for you six months from today or a year from today? Remember, you got to be committed to the present and to the future at the same time. And the third principle is this one. You must be committed to the things that you say are important to you. You must be committed to the things you're telling yourself are important in your life. Let me ask you this, do you think it's important to have a positive psychology mindset, to be a positive person? Say so yes. Were you a little bit negative maybe this morning, maybe yesterday, last week, last month? Say, so, well, yes, right? Sometimes people have a challenge because they're saying one thing and sometimes they are living a different way. I always ask my audience, hey, do you think health is important? Yes. Would you like to be healthy, have more energy? Yes. What kind of health results are you having right now? They'd be like, well, not that good. Well, because they're saying one thing, but they're not committed to live that standard. Very simple to understand that any result we have in our lives, financial results, health results, relationship results, any result we have right now, if you look at them, they are our commitments. How committed are we to experience that in our lives? If you think about it, a great area, an area that you think, oh, I'm so happy in my area, most likely you're very committed to achieve the result. If there's one area that you're not very happy, guess what? You're not, most likely you're not very committed to experience an amazing outcome in that area. How important is for you to experience joy and fulfillment to your career, to your path, right? Roberto, very important. How committed are you to become better, to improve yourself, to really learn every single day. If you are, awesome. If you're not committed, if you're not going to trainings, if you're not getting coaching, uh, if you're not getting some feedback, then it might be an area for you to recognize and improve. Remember, we must be committed to the things that you're telling yourself are important to us. And how do you know? Just with results. Results don't lie. Just sharing with you a quick story that I, my mentor shared with me, Dr. Cunha from Brazil. He said, Roberto, when you were cooking bacon omelette, who is more committed, the chicken or the pig? He said, well, the chicken just gave the egg, was committed. But the pig was really committed. The pig was willing to sacrifice himself to create the best omelette possible, right? It's like a good analogy for us. How committed are we to make sure you experience the life we deserve to experience fulfillment, joy, happiness, create impact, enjoy the life with our family, and have a healthy lifestyle. How committed are we to make those things happen? So hopefully I inspire you to take some action today to be even more committed to the things that are important to you. Feel free to go and visit our new page at www.influenceology.com forward slash free. We put together several new resources for you. Video marketing resources, presentation, public speaking resources, influence resources for free. Just go there and visit the page. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.